demonstration, we will explore support for updating relational data using Stylus Studio. Let's start with a simple XML document that contains customer, orders and items information, generated by our online shop. Our task is to normalize the XML data into a relational model. We start the process creating a new XQuery document by clicking on File, New, XQuery. The Style Studio XQuery Editor provides multiple views for authoring queries. For this demonstration we will focus on the Mapping view. The Mapping view is divided in four areas. The Source panel on the left where we configure the data sources the central canvas where we draw the links and invoke functions, the target panel where we define the structure of the transformation output, and finally, at the bottom, the source panel that shows in real time the XQuery code generated by each mapping operations. The target panel will not be used for this demonstration, therefore we can hide it. Now we can proceed registering the XML document as data source with a simple drag and drop from the project window to the source panel. After analyzing the document, Style Studio presents the document structure. The following step is creating a connection to a relational database using File Explorer. We can activate File Explorer by clicking on View, File Explorer. Style Studio provides built-in support for a variety of relational databases, including Oracle, IBM DB2, Microsoft SQL Server, and MySQL. In this demonstration, we'll connect to a local Microsoft SQL Server instance. Notice that if user and password are left blank, Style Studio defaults to the Windows credential. Now that we are connected, we can browse the database objects, catalog, schemas and tables. We will now create a SQL insert operation dragging the customer table from File Explorer to the mapping canvas. Style Studio creates a SQL insert block. If we double click on it, we can see the table columns. Each column exposes an input port. Now that we have a source and a target, we can start drawing the mapping. We create a flower block for iterating through each customer element. Then we connect customer to the four port and then we connect the flower output to the SQL insert flow control port. At this point we can start mapping XML elements into table columns. Notice the XQuery code start to get shaped in the source panel. We have now completed a working query that creates a new record for each customer element present in the XML input document. Let's test it. We can briefly switch to SQL Server Management Studio and verify that the table is empty. Then move back to Style Studio and execute the query that verify that the table has been populated. Let's go a step further, creating a second uh, SQL insert operation for orders. The process is similar. We drag and drop orders from File Explorer to the mapping canvas. We add a new flower block. We map the element order to the for port, then we map the flower output port to the order table flow control. We also have to connect the inner loop with the outer loop using the control flow port. 
now that the context is set, we can map orders ID and customer ID. Now let's say that our system requires date and time when the order was issued, but such information is not available in the XML source. We can easily solve the problem using current date time, one of the many built-in functions available in the Style Studio mapping tool. At last, we process the orders item. We drag and drop the items table from File Explorer to the canvas. Expand its content. We build the flower block, map item to the for port, then we map the loop output port to the SQL insert. Chain the outer loop to the flow control, then map the item code, quantity and orders ID. We can click now the run icon and uh, verify that all three tables, customers, orders, items, has been properly populated. Our process is now complete. With a single query we can now normalize a complex XML document into a relational model. Thanks to the intuitive Style Studio visual mapping tool and the revolutionary DataDirect XQuery.